Alright, everybody, I apologize for all the weirdness going on with the screen. I've got it as close as I can. Unfortunately, it's just getting a little screwy. Uh, I'm doing the best I can to fix it, but it is what it is. Um, so we're in the middle of doing our pre-flight procedures. Uh, ADU has started. Cockpit lights and MICUs are on. All our adheres are on and aligned. Uh, flaps, lever. Uh, it should match the ECAM, which is going to be zero. Retracted. Name ground spoilers. Speed brakes. Uh, <clears throat> AP bleed is going to come on. Air conditioning panel, no whites. Uh, generator 1 and 2 fault lights should be on. All other lights off. External power off. Ventilation system off. I'm going to turn down this music just a little bit. Uh, okay. Pre flight procedures. Adiers are on. Strobe lights to auto. Ring lights. Nav and logo lights. We're going to put on system 2 today. Set up our internal lights as well. Uh, landing elevation is going to be set to auto. Um, pack flow as required, which we're going to be on normal today. Actually, let's go ahead and do high. Let's let's say it's a uh, it's a humid day. Uh, fuel pumps all on. Let's get that rolling. Uh, engine one, two, fire test. Well, you guys can hear that just fine. I know there's stuff that I am supposed to also check on the ECAM, but, um, I never fails, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right. Let's get this switched to data GPS monitor and you will get to init. We're going from KSFO to KLAS. Flight number is. Look at that. United Airlines. 0597. Okay, and we are at 3736.8. And then longitude, we are at 122230. 122230. Align IRS. Our cost index today is 36. Holy crap, we have something that's not 5 or 6. Crew's flight level. I know there's got to be a place here that says what my flight level is. Um, I'm not seeing it. 370? Yeah, that's it. 370. I'm going to double check it just to make sure that I'm not lying. Yep, 370. Okay. Now I know where that is. You learn something every day, folks. All right, winds, wind requests. All right, flight plan. This is where we get to have a little fun. If you call fun data entry. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So we're going to be departing from SFO via 01 right. And we're gonna be taking off by stick four. Now stick three is close enough. What transition? Intel. Uh, and that's gonna go to the flight plan. And from Intel, we're gonna go Airways Quebec 162 to ESSA. And from ESSA, we're going to Bravo Tango Yankee. 
And that's where we start the Sunset 4 arrival. We're going to be landing 1-9 left, as far as we can tell. Yes, Sunset 4. And it does not have the TY transition. Great! Thanks, guys! <coughs> Alright, I gotta look this up real quick. Hopefully this won't cause any problems. Let's jump real quick to... Look at K L A S. We're going to look for the Sunset 4 star. Let's rotate this. Okay, so we're looking for T Y transition. Okay, so it just uh, connects at my cap. For Sunset star. This on the other window, real quick. Sunset. There's sunset. Okay. We need to go from BTY, iCal. Fuzzy. Prager. Me. Nipzo. And that'll get us to sunset. <coughs> so do I need to put in anything here? You need to hit fuzzy at 1600. 16,000. That's not one to take. And then we need to hit Nipzo. No, Ikumi at 11,000. And then Nipso at 9,000. And then uh, at a at fuzzy. I also have a speed constraint. Ah, uh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so I need to be at 250 slash. Uh, 16,000 here. And if you me, it'll be at 230, Let me know if I'm doing any of this wrong. Like, if you've flown and you know what the hell I'm doing, because I definitely don't. So. Slash no cousin. Sunset. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Return. Sunset's going to be 210 slash 8. Uh, me. Is going to be 210 slash 8,000. Ships is 170. Jesus, okay. 170 slash 8,000. That is a hell of a constraint. B 
people. Oh, it just does not like me saying 170. Nine? Punch. Oh, you just do not want to accept anything. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll just let this handle the rest of that. Okay, so let's go to init B. For which I need my Tolis menu. I'm gonna move this back. I can see chat ish. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> our zero fuel weight is gonna be 57.2. What just. Just little son of a bitch. 57.2 slash 29.29.3. I'm having a devil of a day. It's 0.3 block fuel. <clears throat> All right. Uh, performance. We're going to take a flaps one departure. Should be 147. Time, so I have to click here. 147. V rotate 151. V2 153. Flaps is going to be 1 slash down 0, 0.0. Flex temp is going to be 66 degrees. We want phone. I don't care. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, progress. We're gonna be tracking two A L A S. I am. Cool. All right. That's our MCDU configured. Our altimeter. I get it, phone. You're you think you're important. You are not. All right. Our altimeter today is three zero one four. <clears throat> uh, flight directors both on speed should be managed heading managed our altitude is going to go straight up to 37,000 feet um, and he's getting nose wheel steering is on switching panel all to normal transponder we're going to go ahead and set an absolutely stupid squawk of 1200 Nobody would ever fly one of these VFR, but we are today. Uh, beacon light can come on, and we should be ready for... I get my live map open so I can see exactly where I'm at. You're not in Sweden anymore. Over here at SFO. Taking off zero one right, correct? Okay. Zero one right. All right, so we need to push back tail right. Let's look at better push back. All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. And we are ready. So Great news, back. Captain. Your toe's coming. <clears throat> ah. 
All right, so let's get this thing started. I'm gonna turn this music up just a little bit because I cannot even hear it. like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect uh, all right so my rudder pedals are all ready to go hopefully I won't fuck them up I have managed to break them once but I also managed to fix them so I'm happy with that uh, it just took me some time pulling the entire thing apart and that's how I had to fix it Apparently, just one of the internal gears slipped off. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. Light them up. All right. Engines to ignition, engine to start. I'm gonna wait till 21% and one rotation. doing this we can kind of look around for anything we can do no, not quite yet no nope nothing we can do quite yet <coughs> pardon me hey 15 percent you know what that's gonna be close enough engine one start get run over by the food trucks and the untextured uh, fuel trucks. No problems. We can take a few hits. Yeah, that's 20.5. It's a positive start. Engine 2. Engine 1 is at 5.5%. Let me adjust my mic here a little bit. Get it a little closer to me. Break. Why is the speed brake not? Why is the flaps out? Oh my god. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Parking brake set. All right. So now engine and mode we're can go to normal. To Give me just a moment. Uh, AP bleed off, round spoilers armed, flaps set for takeoff, pitch trim is already set because it's zero, uh, AP master off, we are ready for taxi. Basically taking Alpha down to Lima, it becomes Lima anyway, and then we'll line up on the end of runway for one. Uh, Lima to Alpha one. I'm sorry. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right. Take it easy and have a safe flight. All right, signal's gonna be on the right hand side, folks. We're gonna have to take a look over here, and we're gonna have to shift our view very slightly. Also, I have a major announcement today, but I'm going to wait until we get up to cruise, and then I'll call it out. All right, that's our pin, so let's get going. Nose light to taxi. Uh, speed br er, parking brake off. Elapse time run. <clears throat> Light control check, full left. 
pull right, pull up, pull down. Everything seems to be working just fine. Let's get our feet on our rudder pedals here. All right, FMA should be on nav and climb. Auto brake should be set to maximum. Terrain on ND. Um, have and check. Actually, I'm going to go a slightly different path. I have no idea where we are on my map. This this taxiway does not exist. <laughs> Takeoff checklist. This will be run one right. Close enough. This one right. Yeah. This is one right. Okay. Transponder to TARA. Ninja mode as required, brake temps all good. Now let's light up. Alright, let's stop this bad bird. Auto set. Engines to 50%. Stabilize and flex. Rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And set autopilot. <clears throat> Those are the lights when we turn off lights are off. AP1 is on. Throttle to the climb detent. Flaps can be retracted at our speed coming up here at the hamburgers. Uh, let's see. Engine mode is at normal. Engine anti ice is not necessary. Landing lights can be retracted at 10,000 feet. Which we will not be at for a hot minute. <clears throat> Pardon me. Even though we're climbing at 2,000 feet per minute, which means we will be there in about 8 minutes. Or no, 4 minutes. I gotta, I gotta learn that math thing. Alright, speed check. Flaps clean. So that's gear up, flaps clean, speed brake can be disarmed. <coughs> uh, 
Pardon me. So we're almost turned all the way around. We're at 6,000 feet and climbing. Go ahead and turn on our weather radar. Up a bit. Okay, so we're high enough, we don't have to worry about terrain anymore. Turn up the gain on the, uh, the uh, brightness on the weather radar. Since it is the daytime. <clears throat> We are under an altitude constraint. That's not a big deal. And we're not far off of being released from it. It's here at port. <clears throat> and we put this over here. Switch this back. There we go. All right. So I'm more in a normal configuration here. Um, we're at 10,000 feet. Let's go ahead and turn off our landing lights and our seatbelt signs. We'll let our crew move about the cabin as long as they don't do anything stupid like you know, smoke a cigarette. Oh, speaking of which, that reminds me. I didn't play our briefing, so give me just one second, I'll load that up, and you guys can listen to this for just a minute here while I I'm turn down the music, here we go, greetings from the cockpit, this is your captain speaking, thank you for choosing to fly your rack attack this evening, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of our AV system isn't working today, so we can't show you the $2 million safety video that an ad agency did for us. But since very little of what that video tells you will actually save your lives, I'm going to do it instead. Here's the big thing to remember. If we crash or make an emergency landing, statistically speaking, 95% of you will survive. If it's a serious crash, 55% of you will survive. So if this plane is going down, concentrate. Because your life may depend on some smart decisions. <clears throat> Keep in mind that 80% of accidents happen within the first 3 minutes and the last 8 minutes of flight. So that's when it would be wise to keep your shoes on and put your laptops away and stay focused. The safest seats on this plane are over the wings closest to the emergency exits. If you're not in one of those right now, here's what you can do to help ensure your survival. Look where your nearest exit is. Now count the rows between you and that exit. If the cabin was full of smoke, or upside down, or full of smoke and upside down, how would you get to that exit? Take a moment to visualize yourself doing that right now. Now look at your seatbelt. I know all of you know how to use it, but that's because nothing is making you lose your shit right now. It's common for people in emergency stress situations to try and open that thing by pressing a button that's not actually there, like seatbelt on your car. So take a moment to imagine yourself lifting that flap in an emergency. In fact, do it right now just to get used to the motion. Emergency evacuations on the runway are more common than crashes. In the event of something like an engine fire, we need to get you all off the plane in about 90 seconds. This means you need to leave your fucking bags in the overhead bins and get off the damn plane in a quick and orderly manner. Those bags will bring the evacuation to a virtual halt. 
My first officer and I will be trying to get off this plane, and the last thing we want is to be cockpit blocked by your roll-on. Now, you're probably well aware there's a life jacket under your seat, but forget about it. They're less likely to save your life than those little airline pillows. Sure, there was a famous 2009 emergency water landing on the Hudson, but there were boats on hand immediately, and nobody actually needed the life vests. There was a flight that ditched in the Caribbean in 1970 where 40 lives were likely saved by the vests, but there was also one off the coast of Ethiopia in 1996 in which many passengers put them on too early and couldn't get out of the flooded fuselage. To put it another way, if we replaced those life vests with a box of chocolates, it wouldn't alter your survival odds. Let's take a second to talk about those oxygen masks. Here's the thing. If we lose cabin pressure at a fairly low altitude, no big deal. You can breathe just fine. If we lose cabin pressure at cruising altitude, you can't. If that happens, here's what I'm required to do by law. I'm going to push the nose of the plane into an emergency descent that's going to feel like a roller coaster drop and it's going to scare the crap out of you. But it's not dangerous. I've practiced. Also by law, I need to notify air traffic control as well as the airline and I need to do all that before I can get on the microphone and tell you what the hell is going on. So don't be surprised if you don't hear from me for a bit. I'm just doing my job. And you're going to be fine. For those of you who don't manage to get your masks on in time, you'll probably pass out and then wake up in a minute or two when I get the plane to a lower altitude. You want to know what the biggest danger is? The biggest danger is actually that your luggage or those duty-free bottles you purchased and put in the overhead compartment will fall out when you open it and hit someone on the head. There are actually several thousand reported injuries from this every year in the United States alone. By contrast, the FAA only reports 58 or so serious injuries from turbulence. So one could easily make the case that we should, we should be handing you a helmet and skip the seat belts. Another big risk is the drink cart. Seriously. It weighs over 100 kilos when fully loaded, and every year, passengers get their elbows, knees, and feet broken when the drink cart slams into them. So keep your arms and legs tucked away. Why haven't airlines put some safety padding on the drink cart? I don't know. Maybe because you keep screaming at the attendants for your chicken being bland, or your drink not being cold. Same goes for spilled-proof coffee in teapots and cups with lids. Every year, some poor passengers get hot coffee or tea in their crotch, when there's a bit of turbulence, but until the airlines fix this, I'm afraid you're on your own. Now, you're probably wondering how can this bucket of bolts stay in the sky if we can't get the AV system or the latch on your tray table to work properly. To be honest, we sometimes wonder that as well. But the stats speak for themselves. The actual risk of dying in a plane crash is 1 in 11 million, according to the Harvard School of Public Health 2006 study, so you're far more likely to be struck by lightning or killed by a shark. And it's certainly much safer than driving. Right after 9-11, many were scared to fly. 12 to 20% fewer people flew. But because more people made driving trips instead of flying, a German professor estimated that an extra 1,595 people died in car accidents in the year after 9-11. Just in the U.S. Just a little reminder that we'll probably keep the seatbelt sign on for nearly the entire flight. Because our flight crew doesn't want to be bothered in the galley, and they definitely don't like trying to squeeze by you in the aisles. That or I forgot. Either way. Anyway, please sit back and relax while we take forever to serve you a drink and a barely editable meal, and then leave the tray on your table, making it nearly impossible for you to squeeze out of your chair and into the toilet. Looking forward to flying the salty skies with you again. And that's our safety briefing, everybody. Uh, clap for nobody because that was just me. <laughs> um, the, 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 just so everyone knows, the text of that actually came more or less from a YouTube video. Um, I don't have the reference for it on hand. I did alter it pretty significantly. Um, but I did get the inspiration from a, uh, popular YouTube video regarding the uh, safety briefing. The real safety briefing that the airlines don't want you to hear. Um, I just... I find it more valuable. I find it more funny 
And I think that in the context of us being in a simulator instead of in an actual aircraft, this is more inf important information for you to hear. <laughs> uh, also, I apologize if I get a little quiet today. Um, but I am feeling some... I don't want to call it illness because I really don't want it to be illness. But I'm feeling a little bit of a tickle in the back of my throat that is very uncomfortable and speaking is not very comfortable with it. And I'm hoping it doesn't progress any. Which is why I have the uh, squeak of hydration on standby ready to hydrate me. <clears throat> you may also hear me clear my throat a lot. And that is for the exact same reason. I'm setting up my nebulizer and I'm, or not nebulizer, I've only called that if it's medicine, my vaporizer. <clears throat> <coughs> ah, sorry. Uh, so I'm getting everything set up to try and maintain my health and well-being so we can be back tomorrow to do some Mega Man X4. We're going to be replaying the game as X. Hopefully the end of it will not be as frustrating as it was on Zero. Uh, if it is, we will only try like one or two days. If, if I don't clear it, I won't clear it. Uh, also, for those of you that are following me on YouTube... So, there's going to be some errors coming up. And they weren't intentional. I didn't realize them at the time. But when the Mega Man X3 playlist starts coming out, well, there is an unfortunate um, bit of incorrect information. So, in the titles, and in the descriptions, and in all the imagery, and the shit I talk about during the Mega Man X3 runs, I refer to it as a 100% run. It is not 100%. It is the good ending. There are two endings to Mega Man X3. There's the good ending and the bad ending. Uh, and I got the good ending, but getting the good ending requires you pass up the Z-Saber. I did pass up the Z-Saber. It didn't even occur to me that that makes it not 100% run until just the other day. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't get the B I didn't get the Z-Saber. Fuck. So now all of my imagery and everything for it is wrong. I will put a uh, correction in the descriptions, but um, it's going to be a 100% good run. So I'm going to have to play it again at some point. I, I might wait until I finish the entire trilogy. Or the... the Octilogy? There's, there's eight Mega Man X games. Um, so once those are done, I may go back and, and finish it then. Or I may just do it after doing X4 on, on Mega Man X. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably pull you guys as we get closer to that time and see how, how we're feeling if we want to drop back and play a little more X3 to get the bad ending or if we want to um, continue on into X5 immediately. Um, I don't even know what I would prefer. So, take that for what it is, which is absolutely nothing. Uh, today's route was suggested by Vipress. I don't know if y'all have seen him in here before. He's a uh, frequent player of Stream Raiders with us. Uh, you can also catch him in Endearing Chaos's channel. Um, he's usually there. I can think of maybe only once or twice he's missed. So, um, catch him there. He's a great guy. And he suggested our route today. We're flying from San Francisco to Las Vegas. 
Um, I'm going to be honest right now, it kind of feels like I've got an ear infection. Uh, anyway, so I don't know, are we, are we at cruise yet? Are we at cruise? Tell me. We are at cruise. Okay. No, no, wait. We're only at 32,000 feet, not 37,000 feet. So I can't tell you guys yet. We have we have a special announcement. And I'm really hoping that we can get it out to more than one viewer. Um, most of you kind of have already seen some of this. Um... <laughs> I have to laugh because uh, in having just mentioned Endearing Chaos, I did just flick over to her Discord server and I see a relevant meme. It's got these two happy cats and it says bus drivers when they see each other. And then it's got two absolutely terrified cats and it says pilots when they see each other. And it's not wrong at all. <laughs> It is not wrong in the slightest. Oh, it is a horrifying day when you can see another pilot. Now, obviously in, in Simulator, that's not a big deal. Uh, matter of fact, just the only reason to really be scared of seeing another pilot in the Simulator is because usually the pilot models are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> um... But yeah, so, essentially, there's a lot of you that have already seen some of what I'm announcing today. Some of you have not. But today is going to be the official announcement as soon as we hit 37,000 feet. And it will be the first time that information about this is being made public. Now, it is information about this related to my channel, you know, it's not like I'm releasing news about the greater world around me. No, I'm I'm releasing news about the channel. <laughs> let's not let's not get excited now. I don't know if I can live up to that kind of expectation. Um Let's see where are we? 34,500. Why are we climbing so slow? Is it just because we're heavy? Yeah, it's probably just because we're heavy. It's just taking its sweet-ass time getting up to cruise, because it just... It wants to troll you, really. I mean... This is all about you guys. So the Tolis... Tolis has just decided that, that they don't want you to know what I know yet. Wifey coming in and donating more to the No Hodas Challenge. Um, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. Wifey, do you want me to start up Stream Raiders? It's up to you. I don't know who else is in is in chat right now, so um, it's up to you if you want to play Stream Raiders or not. Um, 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 uh, sorry, and in my head, that was the, the password from, uh, was it Dark Crystal? Well, sure, but I think even just one of you can actually handle where we're at in the progression. But did you, did you want me to start it? up to you. If you don't want to, if you don't want to, we ain't gotta. I don't know if Vipress is listening or if Vipress wants to play, um, but I'm happy to launch it for you guys. Nah, okay. Not gonna worry about it. So, we still have to climb another 900 feet or so, 800 feet, and then I'll be able to make the big announcement. The big announce. Um... But I can't make it yet. I have to adhere to my own rules, which is I'm not going to make the announcement until we hit 
our cruise altitude. Our cruise altitude is going to be 37,000 feet. We are halfway to 36,500. But I'm going to need it to go all the way up. And I know it's got to be agonizing how slowly we're climbing. Just 600 feet per minute. It means we've probably got another 45 seconds or so. The biggest of announcements! Yes, I've never seen one this big before in the history of ever, except for pretty much everywhere, but I don't know if there's ever been one this big for the channel. Um, 36,800, we're almost there. 200 more feet, and then I get to announce to you guys such an important thing. It is a thing, and it's important, and it's big. It's a big... It's almost like it's a big, important thing. Right? All right. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. All right. We have leveled off. We are at cruise. So now I can tell you all. <laughs> now I can tell you all about the biggest of things. Just today, just an hour ago, we launched the Iraq attack merch store and currently right now there's a 15 percent off sale that will last until december 15th you get 15 percent off of everything in the store as part of our grand opening and if you order right now you should be able to get anything that you order delivered before christmas um that's what their website tells me. I uh, And it only showed up today, so I assume you've probably got a few days to make that order before it's not enough to get it there. But we have a large selection of items. Um, we've got water bottles. We've got... Um, we've got water bottles. We've got uh, clothes. We've got... We've got t-shirts. We've got ball shirts we've got polo shirts we've got tank tops we've got hats i love hats by the way um i love baseball baseball caps trucker hats i love them um mostly because i hate my hair and uh hats force my hair to behave um we have hoodies we have hoodies we have two types of hoodies uh we got i i want to say like Four or five different kinds of t-shirts. Um, let's actually let's actually look at it together, guys. Uh, so we've got mugs. Uh, let's see, we got we've got mugs, we got hats, we got hoodies, we got we got tote bags. Um, we've got pillowcases. We've got drawstring bags. We've got masks. Uh, we have a beanie. It is temporarily out of stock. The, the, the supplier doesn't have any more. Um, but it is a jersey beanie, not a, not a like, full-on wool beanie. So, take a look at that store. See if there's anything you might like out of there. Uh, or that you might like for a friend. It does support me. Uh, I don't get in a huge cut of this. But it does help the stream in a way that also helps you. You get something you need, I get something I need, right? And all that money is going to go back into the stream. It, it, whatever money I get out of out of this merch store, it's all going to go back into the stream. You guys will see a better stream because of it. And as a matter of fact, just, just on me trusting... That you guys will eventually get us somewhere, will get me money from either this or from the stream or from somewhere. Just trusting on that, I have already ordered a couple of lights to help me set up a green screen so that I can put myself on the stream. Um... That's that's kind of the goal. It's going to be in the next couple of days to weeks, depending on how difficult it is for me to set it up and make it work. Uh, but once I get it to where it works, 
on a regular basis. I am going to start streaming with Facecam. Maybe not all the time. It's not a beanie, it's a toque. It's not a toque, it's a beanie. It's not a toque. Toque has to have, I think, I think the toque has to have either the ears or the puffball. That's a beanie. Toques, I think, are made of wool, and they usually have either ears or the little the little thing on the top. That is a beanie. Listen. Listen. Okay. I'll look up what the definition of a beanie is. A small, close-fitting hat worn on the back of the head. And a toque definition is a women's small hat having a narrow and closely turned up brim. So that is part of the difference. Is the br It has to have a brim and the brim has to be turned up. Goes on your if it goes on your head and doesn't have a peak, but this does have a peak. Let me let me, let me now I gotta I, I, I gotta go and I have to defend my store. There is a peak on it, yes. There there is a peak. I can't click into it to see greater detail on the picture. But there is there is a peak on it. And the important part is, there is no brim. A toque needs to have a brim that gets turned upwards. I had a toque when I was a kid. And actually, I had two of them. Ironically, both for sports teams, I have never been into sports at all. And only one of them was from my area. I had one for the Kansas City Chiefs, which is from my area, a football team in my area. I had another one for the New York Yankees. I have never been to New York. I have no idea how I had that. But both of those were toques because they were meant to be worn with the bottom rolled up. Uh, whereas this is not designed to do that. It's designed to just be rested on the back of the head. Now, e even the Canadian definition. So I'm, I'm looking always at this time. Beer oh, I know what you're dealing with. Um, so the other, the, the Canadian definition is a close fitting knitted hat with, often with a tassel or pom pom on the crown. And like I said, it has to be that, that knitted wool. That's the thing. This is not knitted. This is Jersey. So it is, it is a little different. Um, but this is not a knitted cap. I have not been able to put my hands personally on the uh, on the face masks, but from the like from the look of it, um, I have put my hands on ones like this before. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, wifey, I don't know if you heard, but part of the even the Canadian definition for toque is that it has to be it, it has to be knitted. It's a close-fitting knitted hat, often with a tassel or a pom-pom. Now, the the merchant the merch store. This is actually a jersey toque. It's not. Uh, it, it's a jersey beanie. It is not knitted. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to take the logo very well. It would. It would basically have to be a woven logo instead of a printed logo. So they went with jersey, which means it's not knitted, which means it's not a toque. It's a beanie. But I've got a women's racerback tank top. I've got a men's tank top. Where'd that go? There it is. I've got a men's premium tank top. Available in several colors. Uh, it looks like purple, heather. Uh, what is this? Like a teal? Like a dark? Deep navy. Uh, slate, charcoal, and black. But yeah, it's not knitted. It's not knitted, so it's it's not a toque. 
but yeah, hopefully you find something that you like in here, even if it's just a mug, just a just just a a squeak of of hydration bottle. You can have your very own squeak of hydration. Now on that one, I think I prefer the turquoise glitter bottle. And the other day, it was weird. It was showing me a white bottle. And I'm not seeing that today. Yeah, here's the squeak of hydration, because I'm about to take a drink, because my, my throat is doing bad things. Uh. Yeah, I suggest the turquoise glitter on the uh, squeak of hydration water bottle. I should I should probably actually rename the item entirely. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, let's see. Finds. Let me go in there and change that. Edits. Where's that water bottle? Edit you. Change your name. Uh. Where did you? Okay, so there is a white, it's just not showing it. Or I didn't, I didn't click it. There may be one that's hidden. Nope. It is not there. <clears throat> I don't know why the white's not showing. Yeah, I can't change the name of it. Damn. <laughs> I may update some of these in the future uh, if nobody's buying them, like, to, to include more data. Like, this is just thrown together very quickly. Um, I will add some others later. Redeemed Hydrate! So I gotta drink again! I'm okay with this. Speak of hydration! Oh. Ah. Fresh water. Stuff of life. I would so get something written on the back of the bottle that says squeak of hydration. I could put it on the front. I'm going to be honest. I could put it on the front. Uh, let me look. Is, do they have... Do they have... Where is it? I'm totally in the wrong area. Does it tell me what its imprint area is? That tells me the design size, 1.22 inches, but I need to know what its available size is. Maybe there's someplace else that tells me. Um, I'm not sure. But I'll be able to look at that after the stream. But I will. Uh, I, I may very well add a squeak of hydration on there. <laughs> um, if I can make it work. Um... I... I think I can put it on the back. I don't think I can do... Yeah, I don't think... Is it defaulted to white now? Nope, it's defaulted to silver. Okay, well that's fine. I actually like the uh, turquoise glitter better. But yeah, I, I will look into trying to get Squeak of Hydration put on there. Um, at the very least on the back. That, I, that much I can do. Uh, it will make it cost more. That I can also tell you.
Hey, this one actually comes in my size. I was not expecting any of them to come in my size. I'm being honest. Okay, you can add... Te what? So you can add text... When you order it. <laughs> you can add text, but I can't add text. What the hell? Oh, come on. T-Sprit... Or, uh... Spreadshirt? God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys can definitely put the squeak of hydration on yours, I think. It might increase the cost. It might not. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it would be $18.99 for me to add the logo to the shirt. So how much is it? Normal $18.99. Okay, so you can do that without adding anything to it, I think. <clears throat> If I go into here, and then I go edit, and I go add text, and I can go hashtag squeak of creation. And they don't have process blue? Man, that that sucks. The text color will be black. There we go. Let's make it bold. All right. So this is this is my uh, over not suitable for white design slash design elements. That's fine. I want I want the Turquoise glitter. Get price. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Nice. It didn't actually change anything. Trying to so what you do, this is what you do. Um it's so like if you're ordering the squeak of hydration water bottle, right? Um let me get back far enough where I can Okay. When you go to the product detail page, right? Let me actually uh see if I can Oh, this is this is gonna be dicey. Okay, uh, let's try and add a window capture. Add. Oof. Right. Up. 
breathe. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly have this over. Um, I need to transform its drop. Uh, by a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to really, really badly throw this up. Okay. So what you do is you come down here to this pencil. And then you go customize. And then you add text. And then so I did right over here. Hashtag squeak of hydration. And then I bolded it. And I changed its color to black. I made it bow a bit. And I pulled it over. I had to shrink it down a touch. Bit. And I basically did that. Make it bow a little more. Ooh, I don't want it that bowed. There we go. I think that's about what I would want. So, like, that's that's what I'm doing. Like, and then you go get price, and it'll tell you here it's twenty one ninety nine. Add to cart, and then you would just go to your checkout. That'd be twenty one ninety nine with four forty nine shipping for me. Now I can get 15% off. But yeah, so that's that's how you do the thing. Have you, uh, did that work for you? Wait. My past, shit. I need to be decelerating. I need to be coming down 10,000. Yoink. Decelerate! Hold on, I've got a... Uh, I have to do this. Um, set procedures. Ending elevation. Set McDo arrivals. Performance approach. Uh, we are plus 7,800 feet. Fuck me! Okay, I need to... To end this. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You can go away. I can grab this and go to here. Okay, so I am at my cow. Where's my cow? Where am I? Okay, not bad. Flight level two one zero. I need to be at two one zero. Okay, okay, we're gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. We're gonna be at or above 210, and we'll be 160 for fuzzy. We're gonna be flat out 160 at fuzzy. Okay, uh, can we grab the winds? I don't suppose we can grab the winds, can we? Uh, nope. Okay, uh, FCU altitude, set and push, speed brake half is required, which is definitely required. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. I think we're fine. All right, altimeter will be set queuing, setting QNH at 18,000 feet. And not a moment before. Uh, let's see if I can... Ooh, private window. That is, that is not working. 
have a window. Come on, come on, private window. Fine, you know what? You know what? You, know what? you don't want to work with me? I want to work with you. Uh, new private window with you. You work? And for Fusey, we need to get down to 16,000. Fuzzy? Not Fusey, Fuzzy. Let's go to store. Red shirt. Home slash direct attack. What? There we go. Our merch. Rack attack logo. This. Yeah, I'm doing it right here in a brand new window that has never been logged in. Uh, I think we might need more deceleration. I think that might be the airport, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Maybe that's it. Hard to tell from this far out. At least with X Planes bullshit settings. Yeah, we can work on it after. I just would like to have it all, you know, worked out on stream, but I really should have, like, been prepared or something. You know, like. <laughs> Like that ever happens. Uh, 16,000 at Fusey. Which it looks like we're going to make it, so we're going to be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and retract those spoilers. More need for the speed brakes, I think, probably. But yeah, we'll definitely work on it after, and if anyone's having any problems, um, we'll figure it out. If anything, I can always make a second logo, and this will be the only thing in that store. But I don't like that if I don't need to. And let's look at our Q&H. Flights. Other. It's our 3016. Okay, we are back on course after having completely forgotten about flying the damn plane. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to be heading towards Ipumi. Oh, Traeger. But we need to be at 11,000 by Ipumi. Go ahead and take your time, airplane. I don't need you to rush down there. I just want you to get there eventually. Then we'll need to be at 9,000 by Nipso. Okay, we need to be speeding down. Why are we still at 300? 
speed needs to come down to 250. It needs to be at 230 by Ipumi. No. Two five zero. Listen to me. Didn't want to listen when I tried to put it in the flight plan here. We need to be at two three zero here. Constraint, and then at a Pumi we go down to two three zero. Okay, I put in here three zero. No, two five zero to Pumi. No, two three zero at a Pumi. We need to be one zero at sunst. Okay, can we can we now this yeah there we go now you're listening. Now you're doing what I want you to do. Cool. Let's retract that. Okay, and what's our runway elevation? Is going to be 2,181 feet. And then our. Okay, once I get down to 8,000, I'll be fine. All right, Ipumi, we need to be at 11,000. The Nipso at 9,000. And then 8,000. No, why why are you eight thousand all the way down? I don't have anything lower than that, but look at instrument approach. We're looking for runway one nine left. Nine left. Arnav, one nine left. Okay, so Jonu, Ravni, Jabna. We're supposed to intercept at Ravni, Ranvi, at 4,300 feet. That's our intercept. Actually, it's damn near spot on. And our runway should be like right over here. No, head. Should be like right hey look at all that that looks like vegas that looks like the strip there's our airport we're gonna come back around this way and then land this way i think Stretch. Stretch? Did I miss a stretch? Ah, I did. Um, let me see here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where am I at? Uh, 11,000 feet. Where am I at? Nixo. Nipso 9,000. And then... It's just going to be 8. Actually, can go ahead and go down to 8,000. I'll be there for a minute. All right, let me go ahead and stretch. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
I apologize for missing that, but the uh, the app I'm using to view my chat doesn't actually show those point redemptions. Oh. Oh. And on, on approach, it's, it's very difficult for me to do them at all. Okay. I'll do another one here in a minute. Uh, I just need to make sure that I've done all the things. It's going to constrain me at 8,000. Oh, it is not. It is not restraining me at 8,000. I'm going to have to do that manually. Hey, landing lights on. Uh, ND constraints. LS as required, which we won't need until we get like all the way back over here at the end of the strip. I'm going to go ahead and seat the passengers as well. This is going to drop us to 210 knots. Why is it not already dropped me to 210 knots? Uh, 230. Uh, that's why. I need two flaps one. Maybe at 210. And then after Kimmy, we can go down to 170. Oh boy. Thank you so much for allowing me to go down to 170. Are we not down at 8,000? Need you to be at 8,000 for me. Thank you. Don't make me take full manual control of this fucking airplane. I will turn this plane around. So help me. So poker, poker should still be eight thousand. A prino should still be eight thousand. Cool. So only once we passed Emmy, and then I'm gonna slow it down to one seven zero. I'm gonna drop another forty knots. I'm going to have to put in some flaps, too. Which I think that requires full flaps. Take a look. Wrong side. 
think we're going to be going around a lake here. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit before I start my D cell. Actually, it's got my D cell already calculated up there. So, what does it think I should be at right now? Where are we at? Where are we at? Thinks we should be at 170. Okay. So. All right, there we go. Now it's it's properly decelerating. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my LS. That's not good. Speed is in managed mode. Speed brakes as required. Flaps one is at 230. We've already passed that. 200. Speed checked. Flaps two. Speed check, flaps three. Yep, at 170, we need flaps full. We do have to slow down to 170. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. 170. 170. God damn it, plane. You do what I tell you to do. <clears throat> okay, so after poker, poker prino. Jogmo, okay. But Jogmo, we need to get fifty three hundred. Five three hundo. I'm getting prepared for that. We're only 25 miles away. We're going to be on the ground here probably in about 10, 15 minutes. We have a vertical deviation. Not a big deal. It's coming down to us. Coming down slowly. I don't know why it wanted us up at 82.20, but it's not going to get it. Only when we're heading to Jogmu do we descend further. What do you think we're supposed to be at right now? I think we're supposed to be at 170, so why were you dropping us? Nope. Nope. 170. Plane? Plane. <coughs> I don't know why we have to do this so goddamn slowly. Probably noise abatement of some sort. I need another squeak of hydration here. Mm. Erect plane. Linda, Linda, listen, honey. No, no. Linda, Linda, Linda. I don't know what that's from. I feel like the word, the name Linda, it has to be something specific. Okay, we're heading to poker. Phone, what do you want? I don't care. Goodbye. Going to Prino. 
We're still fine. Good training. Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. No, Linda, Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, I'm getting old. My my answers to things are I remember that. Not that was funny. Because I'm more impressed that I remember it than I am entertained by the fact that it's funny. Oh, that's that's not okay. <laughs> oh. All right, so if we missed approach here, we're going to have a climbing left turn to 6,000 direct to Lappin. All right, so 5,300. We're not coming from Hammock. I don't know why we're not coming from Hammock. Where is Hammock? Oh, we are coming from Hammock. Okay, so at Hammock, we need to go down to 5,800. Turn. All right, let's go down to fifty-eight hundred. Five eight hundo. Okay, and we're back on our descent path. Now that it realizes we're not supposed to be at 8220, are you going to descend? Here we go, come on. You need to go down a little bit fast. There you go. Okay. I'm going gonna, gonna to hold that descent path. Okay. I can live with that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sitting here staring at my instruments. That is gorgeous. We don't have a vertical deviation. What are you on about? Deviation, zero feet. Calm the fuck down. <clears throat> oh, it's probably because you want me to be slowing down, don't you? Yeah, wait. How do you want me at 191 now? No, we are limited to 170 knots. The fuck do you mean entry out of range? Kiss my ass. We need 170 knots, ya cunt. Are we not coming down to 5,800? 
Plane. Plane. You will do as I say. Tolus. This is this is usually Microsoft Flight Sims shit. Ease up on that a bit. I do need to be at fifty eight hundred. Why you're still going... Olus, what is going on? Your autopilot is not doing what it's supposed to do, sir. Oh. Need you to, to lock in. 5,800. Not descend anymore. I'm going to need to pre-select this to 5,300. There we go. Now you're starting to listen to me. Why isn't my LS tuning? My ILS frequency is... I may not have an ILS. Plain has dementia. I mean, it's not supposed to. This is told us it's supposed to work. But it seems angry at me for some reason. Or ILS. It's actually on my checklist. Go. I don't think this has an ILS. I think it has an ILS. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so we are landing there. Um, and descend. Okay, um, well, this is not ideal. Um, he's angry. Oh no, plane has PMS. Retreat to the corner and throw chocolate at it. Yeah. All right, um, throw this. Down to we're gonna, we're gonna need to descend. We're gonna need to descend good. Good and strong. We're landing in a tailwind. Okay. 
That's going to be fun. Okay, this is not at all what I expected. <clears throat> Still too high. Okay, still the reversers. Get those speed brakes tracted. Look at my live map. Fuck. to exit to the left here okay let's retract our speed brakes start our mass or uh just gonna say i fucked all this up go this way Track that. Any lights retracted. Uh, ground spoilers are disarmed. Engine mode is normal. Flaps are retracted. APU master is on. APU can go ahead and start. Uh, terrain on ND is off. Brake fans on, if hot, which they are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome to Las Vegas, where it is a balmy 17 degrees Celsius. Slow, slow, slow down. right i'm an american that is able to tell you the uh weather in celsius i cannot begin to guess at what that is in freedom degrees let's see 
that we do. Very, very badly. Alright, and set parking brake. Anti-ice is off. APU bleed. And come on. Engine 1 and 2 master off. Runway turn off lights off. Uh, wing lights. Nose wheel lights. Beacon off. Seat belts off. Lapse time stop. Fuel pumps can all come off. Transponder to standby. Brake fan can go ahead and come off because we're not going anywhere else today. Securing the aircraft. Parking brake is on. Adiers can come off. External lights all off. Uh, APU bleed off. APU master off. Emergency exit lights off. And no smoking lights off. Battery one and two off. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and for being with us as we land as manually as it gets in Las Vegas. Um, we weren't on track. We weren't. We had no ILS. We were way off our glide slope because we were too busy looking at merch. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being here and experiencing this this nonsense with me. I appreciate you all so much. I will see you back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. I hope I don't get DMCA'd for that. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, we're going to be playing Mega Man X4 as Mega Man X. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Let's see if we can't find some place to send you where you'll still be watching some flight sim.